Timothy, my older brother, always told me, our sister Sarah and our parents that he would see strange creatures outside of his university dorm in the family group chat, we told him to go see a therapist but he wouldn't listen. Yesterday he sent the craziest sighting yet, he saw two robots fighting, he said, and I quote, it looked like if Optimouse Prime and Galvatron fighted in the middle of a forest. We're thinking he's going crazy. Timothy came to visit us, his university is in Georgia and we live in California, so our parents paid for his flight, he just needed a break from all his sightings. He's sleeping in Sarah's room and she is sleeping in the living room. We told him to go report this with the police, so he went to the police station. He was there for the whole day, then he came back to the house and he went straight to Sarah's room, we left him alone for two days and we decided to talk to him. What's wrong Tim, everything going alright? My mother said, yeah mom I'm fine, why do you ask? Tim added oh well. You haven't talked to us for two days straight and I wanted to see if everything's okay. My mom said. It's alright mom don't worry about me it'll be fine Tim said. Tim has been saying that he's going out with his friends. He doesn't have friends here in Orange Kelly. Only in Las Vegas but he doesn't go there. Yesterday his room was kind of loud. It sounded like TikTok AI generated stories. The next day. I got a Amber Alert, wait let me rephrase, my whole neighborhood got a Amber Alert at the same time. Let me rephrase again, all the world got a Amber Alert, JT was so loud in the earth, it said this. All police stations in earth have detected a attack from an unknown planet. Stay indoors, board your house, we are getting prepared for an invasion by inhumane creatures. This is an apocalypse. Good luck and may God be with you all. We all started getting ready, we boarded the house and got into the attic, we got some weapons my grandpa David had, Tim told us, I didn't plan to tell you guys this. But this is the end of our world, I've been knowing since I went with the police and over time I went out, I didn't go with my friends, I went to try to commit suicide but I would always get stopped. We're all doomed. Then asteroids came landing to to the ground, they were alien spaceships. Those are the exact things I've been seeing Tim told us. We got our guns and swords ready and prepared for war. It's been three months, we're in a group called the Omni Republic and we're going on a mission to find more survivors, 97.8% of the population died and my family and the Omni Republic are one of the few who survived, the place we're in are ruins of a McDonald's, help me. A voice shouted, help it's coming it said again, we went to help it but it was a trap, a group of people charged at us you guys leave, I'll take them on, this is my mistake and I'm gonna fix it Tim said, he told us that his blood had alien blood on it when a flying saucer of a alien dropped blood on him, we toughed it was a drop of water since it was raining and the aliens are trying to find him since the blood was the alien king's blood or something. We returned back and we heard Tim's final words, I love you all. Then after that we heard blood splashing and body parts ripping. We got back to base and our base was being invaded, we joined in to fight, mom and dad died right when we entered, it was only me and Sarah. Joshua get dad's shotgun it deals more damage. I got dad's shotgun and started shooting, Sarah died a couple minutes later, I continued fighting, but they were too strong, 